in today's video we've got a rehouse we've got an enclosure set up and we've also got details about my 500 and 600 subscriber giveaway Hello everybody, welcome to this latest episode. I am your host Robbie, and this is Robbie's Talking Teas. Tarantula content for tarantula lovers, just like yourselves. In today's video, I'm gonna be rehousing my female Peace Lotheria Rufalata. The other day, I was doing up all the pokey enclosures and rehousing them, and I looked at hers and I thought, you know what? It's not up to the same standard, so let's do it again. But before we get into that, I just want to say if you've been here before, thanks for coming back. You know I love and appreciate every time you watch my videos. If you're new here, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss future videos. Having said all that, let's get into the rehousing. So here's the enclosure that we're going to be doing up today. Inside is a female piece of Theria Rufalata. Now, that's why it's got a very large enclosure, because these guys get pretty big. But thankfully for me, this is only a juvenile, so shouldn't be too much hassle to, um, to get out. But what I've got to do is I've got to take the cork bark out, place it on the table, catch the spider, and then do up the enclosure because there just isn't enough room to operate in this space. So you'll get a good look at the spider in all its glory. Now I recently rehoused it into this but after doing up all my other piece of theria enclosures this one looks pretty terrible in comparison so that's why i've decided to upgrade it now problem i've got is this pokey from what i can see is right down the bottom of the cork bark I'll try this at home peeps so let's just take this out, place this down here. We're going to move this out of the way. And then let's give you a better look at what we're doing down here. So here's the bit of cork bark. Already seen the pokey is at this end. So what I'm going to do is going to place the catch cup here like so. And then gently, gently try and coax her out. My toms just aren't long enough. Mm -hmm. That's it. You're going the right way. Here you go. In you go. That was easy. One piece of Feria Rufalata in the catch cup. Let's give you a better look at her, shall we? And there she is, Peace Lotheria Rufalata. 
This is a little juvenile female. And these, I did say these guys get very large. She's only... The length of my finger at the minute, roughly. So she's got a hell of a lot of growing to do. Which hopefully she'll molt soon. She was very active, so... I highly doubt it'll be any time soon, but we can only wish, can't we? So here we have the old enclosure. I'm going to take everything out and we're going to do it up. We see the cork bark I'm going to do something with because I think this is inadequate really. Well, it's, it's good for her as she grows, but I want to use it more efficiently. So I'm going to do a time jump so you saw how it was and then I'm going to show you what it looks like next. So let's go. So here we have the new enclosure set up. As you can see, I took the old cork bark, cut it in half and turned it into two pieces for the piece Lefuria to climb up and utilize. The substrate in there is a mixture of topsoil and cocoa fiber. I've also got the fake plastic plants, but let's get the piece of theria in there, shall we? Being very careful not to spook her. It's gonna feel really at home in this. Come on. You're gonna like it, I promise. Yeah, come on. Come on, in you go. That's it, that's it. Nice and slowly, we don't want to bolt. Yes. Come on. Don't be stubborn. There you go. There you go, you're gonna like it in there, I promise. See, it wasn't that hard. There she is. See, go and explore your new enclosure. So, let's leave her there to get settled in. That was also nice and smooth. And that's the end of the rehousing. I think you'll agree that the new setup was much, much, much better than what she was originally in. So I'm really happy to get her in there and hopefully she'll be happy too. That's the end of the rehousing. But before we go, I just want to say a huge thank you because this week you guys helped me get to 500 subscribers. So because of that, I'm doing a giveaway in a live stream on Saturday, which I'll be giving away at one but two Brachypelma Homori slings to one of you awesome subscribers. But it doesn't stop there. If before Saturday we get to 600, I'm gonna throw in a Nandu Chromatis sling as well, just because I love you guys so much. So hopefully I'll get to that mark and I'll see you in the live stream on Saturday. Till then, catch you later. Bye.